Was that game, did that feel as weird as it felt to watch in like yeah. three different periods almost? Yeah, the first period I thought we were, I mean, we were clearly sleepwalking, right? Um, it just was, was quiet and, and there was no passion really either way. Um, but we picked it up in the second, obviously, and started to play with some pace and moving our feet and, um, you know, getting pucks in and, and establishing a little bit of a forecheck. And then most importantly, guys started to, to put pucks on net and just drive the net. And that's when good things start to happen. And, and we opened it up a bit. Did you feel like you guys were trying to be a little too fancy in that first period? Oh, yeah. Like there was a yeah. lot of cross, cross It was ridiculous. Ice. It was all east-west, you know, no north-south. Passed up probably, you know, I mean, we had a two-on-one and, and tried to drop past it to a trailer instead of just driving to the net and, and, you know, playing it the right way. So, you know, once we simplified and, and, and started playing the right way, we, we, we were pretty good. Um, but we want to be, you know, there's no reason on senior night tomorrow for our guys not to come out and put their very first effort in the season on the, on the ice. And, and most importantly, you know, obviously we want to send the seniors out, but we, we want to send, you know, fans home um, that have supported us so well all year, feeling really good about the trajectory of where our program's going. Not necessarily, no. I mean, you know, I, I think the theme of the first period was we were way too cute. We were way too cute with the puck and just didn't simplify things. And um, it's got to be north-south, playing with pace, getting pucks and bodies in the net. And, and again, once we did that, we were good. Long Island was, has been kind of a potent power play team for what they were. You give up two power play goals tonight, how do you kind of feel the penalty for a little bit? Well, I mean, you know, they both went off our guys' feet. You know, like, great credit to them. They figured out a way to score two power play goals, but, like, you know, a couple bad bounces, and it is what it is. What's your message going into senior night tomorrow? How do you get the guys around? Just play play for your seniors, and yeah, I know our guys will. They'll come here, and the lineup we throw together will we'll, we'll empty the tank, and, you know, it, you know, we have the ability to send our seniors out, um, breaking our program record for wins. And uh, those guys have to be desperate and, and urgent and hungry to do that. And if we are, I like our chances. Any uh, thought on goaltending at all tomorrow? No, we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, Gibby's been playing great, and TJ, TJ needs his reps, and um, we'll make that decision tomorrow. But, but uh, I'm open to uh, potentially giving TJ a go. Really good chemistry from your bottom line tonight. What did you see from them? Um, I think, you know, like, we were balanced. We got we got balanced scoring tonight. Needs pop two, um, you know. And, and the first one, you know, Alex did a good job just getting the puck to the net, protecting it, getting the puck to the net. And Needs drove the net. Simple, just simple hockey. Um, you know, I didn't see how the, the the fourth one happened. I just saw him, you know, come in and, and, and score. I don't know how they turned it over or whatever. But um, good. It's always good when you get production out of your your uh, your bottom six. We got three goals out of them tonight. What do you think of Jackson? Two goals, and two goals. He was good. Yeah, I mean, needs he's, he's an opportunistic player. He's big. He's strong. He can skate. He's always been able to score. Um, and he, you know, it's his ninth goal. And um, coming off a season where where he had you know really didn't play, he had surgery early. Um, he's put together a nice a nice year, and he's gotten better every weekend. As powers the same thing. Watching the game playing, it was it as weird of a game as it looked. It said three different, almost three different periods. Yeah, I felt like it uh, took a little bit uh, for the energy to pick up in the building. Uh, I felt like both teams uh, were kind of playing neutral ice hockey and it took a bit for uh, the puck to get behind uh, in each zone. So after the play started to move on as that happened, uh, it got better. Looked like they were doing a really good job kind of just preventing you from getting set up on the power play. What did you see as far as that it kind of made it difficult? Yeah, they're a big, strong team. Uh, they just kind of took away space uh, right away. They didn't let us set up, and uh, that's something we have to do a better job at tomorrow. Jackson, for you, a two-goal night. What did you see out there? Um, yeah, I think the first one was all younger. I kind of just went to the neck that things happen. Uh, second one, I kind of read the guy. I saw he was kind of trying to go to the middle, and I just cut him off. And uh, Luckily, the puck kind of stayed in uh, reaching grasp, and yeah, just put a 5 hole. With one big game tomorrow and a chance to, you know, break your single season uh, total win record, how do you send the seniors out, you know, in style and, you know, break that record? Yeah, we play for a win tomorrow. It's the biggest thing. Uh, we want to break that record on home ice and do it for our fans that support us all year. Yeah, I think it's pretty simple. You, you play for the, for the older guys and, and obviously chasing that win record and uh, 
knowing the teams that, that have come before us and, and set the precedent and uh, kind of just being on the verge of that is, is pretty special, especially being able to do it at home, I think uh, will be pretty cool. So. Did Long Island, at least to start, have a little bit more speed than you guys expect? They looked like they were a very fast team to start, and then you kind of found a way to change that. Uh, honestly, I felt like we kind of came out of the gates a little bit flat-footed. Uh, I think they're uh, a bigger team, not so much overly fast. So uh, I think uh, we got to do a better job of getting our legs going right from the final get-go tomorrow. What was the message in the locker room after that first period that allowed you guys to kind of pivot and turn things around the rest of the game? I think that the fact that it was still 1-1 and we only had three shots on goal was, I mean, pretty much spoke for itself. Uh, we knew we were in the game and we played horrible in the first period and uh, yeah, made the adjustments and got some big time goals and, and kind of just didn't look back from there and uh, lucky to get the win. A lot of those shots and shot attempts were coming from the same side in the first period. Was that an intentional thing that you were trying to pick on the goalie based off film or is that just kind of how it played out when you were trying to get past on that? I think Greg kind of expressed to us at the beginning or in between the first and second that uh, we needed to get more pucks on that. Obviously three shots isn't good enough. so. Um, yeah, getting in, getting pucks on that's never a bad thing. Right? You're gonna you're gonna get opportunities and generate something. Uh, and yeah, a couple of them uh, ended up going in, so it was big.